Hello YouTubers, this is D, and I'm back with another video. As expected today at Sony's PlayStation meeting, they unveiled the new, more powerful PS4, and they have dubbed this the PS4 Pro. Now over here on GameSpot.com, they actually have the specs, the release date, and the official price. Now this will be launching on November 10th, 2016, and it's going to cost $399 US dollars. The console is going to do 4K HDR streaming through apps such as Amazon and Netflix and uh, I believe it's going to do 4K streaming through YouTube as well through an update later on this year. Now the bad news is is that this console is actually not going to support 4K Ultra HD playback. Uh, I don't understand how this could be as this is the dubbed the Pro console it should have a 4K Blu-ray player in it. After all the Xbox One S has one. Anyhow, now they're going to be reaching a 4K resolution on games through the checkerboard method, which games such as Rainbow Six used, and they're going to upscale from a higher resolution, I believe it's 1800p, and they're going to upscale it from there to reach 4K. So it's going to be upscaled similar to what the Xbox One S is doing, but at a little bit higher resolution now they do have a gpu uh, a gpu i'm sorry a beefier gpu inside the system and this is going to produce uh higher fidelity graphics now i'm going to go to the specs that they have down here so as you can see here's a picture of the new ps4 pro it looks exactly like the renders that the neo gaffers drew a couple of days ago and if you saw a video on my channel earlier in the week i it looks exactly the same um, anyhow, we're going to scroll down to the specs here. All right, now, it's using the same CPU as the original PS4, except these are upclocked. So it's the same Jaguar CPUs, which is quite weak. And the GPU is exactly as the leaked document said. It's at 4.2 teraflops, and it's based off of the Polaris architecture. It's using 8 gigabytes of GDR it has increased storage size of one terabyte and as you can see here you can see all the dimensions you can also see that it does not support ultra uh, ultra blu-ray discs it just sorry 4k blu-ray discs. it just supports the regular blu-ray discs um, the power consumption is down and it, it does support the output of 4k hdr but this is through streaming right you're not going to be getting this through the 4k uh, through the blu-ray drive and this does have additional output port so uh the specs are here so uh, for those of you that want to go see it um you can go to gamespot.com and you can read it for yourself i'm sorry about the length of this video but i have to go do another podcast now so i'm just trying to rush this out because there's just so much news coming out today and there's just so much footage that i had to watch so i apologize for the quick video here anyways i'd ask you guys to like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one